Hello, so today I think I'm going to do part two of, or episode two, I don't know, of my dissertation diaries. Uh, actually, still August. Um, this might be part dissertation stuff, part moving to uni stuff. I don't really know at this point. Um, <laughs> but I thought, obviously, the university doesn't really expect us to do work over the summer for my dissertation. Well, I haven't been told anyway if, we, if they do. Um, but I thought I'd kind of just get ahead of the research part because I think that's the part that takes like quite a while um, with dissertations and things. Obviously I'm not expecting to like fully research my whole question because you need to get your question approved and all that. Um, but yeah, I think I might do some like preliminary research to see if there's anything that actually supports my drafted questions. Um, obviously I'm not going to say what my exact question is one because I don't know it yet but I have drafted out like four questions which I might investigate. They're all like around the same sort of topic, but each one's got a different kind of focus. Um, so yeah, I am going to just do like, I'm not, as I said, I'm just going to do some really brief research. I'll probably just leave, like make a table or something in Word and just put the links into that. Um, because that's actually what I did for my EPQ and ended up being my like literature review. And I got marked really high on it because I just literally went through all my sources, said what was good about them, bad about them, whatever. Um, and yeah, so as, I, know my, I know an EPQ is so different to like a university. <laughs> like third year dissertation but um it's it's a very similar thing like um, a lot of people are like what's an epq um basically it's a extended project qualification i did it in my second year of college um so yeah like in my a level years um it's equivalent to like an as level it was like it was like basically a i think they call it dissertation as well but it's basically it can either be an essay a like artifact like sort of either like maybe a sculpture or a painting or whatever or it can be like a performed piece um, but it's got to like equate to like s between 5,000 and 6,000 words. Um, so yeah, um, as I said, for that, we basically had to have ours done by like the February of A level year, obviously before our exam started. So we actually like made basically made up our question before the summer, researched it all, um, and then basically started writing as soon as we got back to college. So that's kind of what I'm doing now. It is the 17th of August today. Um, as I said, I'm just going to do some really brief research for my dissertation it seems a little bit scary but I said I'd rather just get started on it now because I know my friends who are in third year obviously last year like some of them said they're literally like within a month of being at uni they're like expected to know what their question was and like meant to have like a little mini draft so I said I'd rather just get started on it now and then if I find oh there's not really much for my question I can kind of change it rather than just like being rushed to make a decision as soon as I'm back at uni in September so yes the video so that was a very long intro <laughs> Okay, so what is my, right? It's actually half eleven. I feel like I've kind of this morning. I've just literally done nothing. <laughs> I watched a bit of YouTube. Um, I was gonna do some exercise, but then my brother was on a call, and I don't want to be making like jumping around downstairs while he was like on a video call. Um, so yeah, I didn't really do any exercise this morning, and I just watched more YouTube, and then I've just got out of the shower now. So yeah, that's why I've literally missed half the morning. Um, I'm actually off to Bath later this week, just for a couple of days, as because I haven't seen my uni friends apart from Amber since like lockdown so yes I need to catch up with them properly not over a screen <laughs> um yeah I'm actually really looking forward to going back um as I, said, I haven't been to Bath in what five months now which is crazy it's probably the longest I've gone without being there if you know what I mean since like I started uni in what, 2017 but yeah I think I'm gonna fire up my laptop just do a little bit of research now make a little folder for my dissertation stuff um, I'd also thought I'd update you on what's going on with like actual uni at the moment. Obviously I know all unis are going to be varying what they're doing post lockdown, whatever. So the last email we got, I think it was last week basically, actually one of my friends messaged me, she was like, oh have any of your modules been cancelled? I was like, not that I know of. And basically I think, obviously where the university really want to socially distance everyone, that apparently there's just some modules where they can't do that, so they just like cancelled them. So I think people have to pick different modules. but. Maybe that means if there's like less teachers teaching different modules, they can like be spread around the same one, so there's smaller class groups. If you don't get what I mean, so I hope that's all that means. I don't know. But as I said, I haven't been told of any of my modules being cancelled, which is a good thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, that must really suck for those people who are looking forward to doing those modules. But yeah, anyway, I've said this before. But I think for me personally, I don't expect to be in university more than like timetable in more than like two or three days a week. Um, because I know my dissertation module especially, like, I think we have a few kind of seminars in the first month or so, but then after that it's basically kind of you're on your own doing it when you want to. Um, 
and then with my other modules I think again I have maybe two seminars a week for each so that'd be four seminars a week and like I, as I said I'm so, I'd be very surprised if they literally drag them over like the space of four days they probably won't so yeah as I said my contact hours are going to be so minimal this year uh, which I think can be a good thing or a bad thing. Like I said, I can work independently, so the reason it I mean, like, I prefer working on campus because I just like associating campus with, like, my uni work. Um, but, yeah, it'd be nice to actually be in a house this year as well because, obviously, in my university room last year, it was quite small to do work in, so I, that's why I always did my work on campus pretty much. Um, but, yeah, so this year, oh, I think I've got a decent desk in my bedroom. Honestly, we viewed the house actually so long ago, I, I can't remember what it looked like, so... <laughs> um, but yeah, as a, there should be a desk in the room there, and we'll have a, like, a nice big kitchen table and things, so yeah. But as I said, I'll just, I will probably spend major majority of my time at campus doing my work. Um, and yeah, also, obviously, as I said, I move on the 5th of September, so I might do, I might leave this bit as like an update of my life. <laughs> and then the second half of the vlog might be me packing up my things moving to Bath, changing around my room slightly. Obviously, I'll do a full-on like, room tour because those are my most popular videos on this channel. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at, at the moment. As I said, I've got Bath on Thursday, Friday this week, and then I've got a weekend at home, and then I'm going to Oxford the following weekend, and then I'll be moving back to Bath. It just, it's coming around so quickly. Like I think July went really slow. Like, June and July went really slow for me, but August has just like, flown by. I think because I've had like been able to meet up with people and I've had plans, like... I just feel like I've been sort of doing a lot of things, so it's just filling up my time, which is nice. Um, but obviously, once I get to Bath, I still have like a good month, like well, not a month, maybe like twenty or so days before I actually start uni again, because I don't think we actually have any timetable things until the twenty sixth of September. Um, so yeah, like as I said, I will be basically in the house again, just faffing about like I have been here for the past like five months before I start uni and also we don't actually get our timetables until September so I don't know that's the only thing I don't know what my like university schedule is going to look like and literally until probably I move to uni so yes but I completely understand obviously the university will like change basically everything so it's all safe for us and like no one gets coronavirus um but yeah we'll see I'll be vlogging my whole university experience this year because I think obviously like third year is a very important year and it'll be nice for me to look back on when I'm like older so yeah, I hope you enjoy the vlogs, and I'll catch you up in the next bit. God, this whole clip's been like seven minutes long. I'll try and like cut it down a bit. And it begins. Okay, also, sorry for that massive crack. I've explained that story so many times, but anyway. Um, so yeah, I've literally just started this really basic kind of grid. Um, it's obviously got links down this side, that I've just literally summarised it again really briefly in here, just so when I look at it, I know what it's kind of about, and then if it's relevant or not. Um, and then I've just done pros and cons as well because obviously, like as I said, with my EPQ, we actually kind of a lit review, so we had to like review everything we used and like whether it was good for our essays or not. And like even some of this, I might not even use it at all in my final dis dissertation. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just write that stuff down there again. It'll help me when I actually come to write my actual thing and decide my question, like whether the the source is like relevant or reliable or whatever. Um, so yeah, I think I'll probably do one more today and then leave it there, you know, just to ease me in a bit generally because I haven't done any, like, academic work in about three months, so, yeah. Okay, so, this is what I've done today. As you can see, really brief bullet points, like pros and cons and stuff. Um, so yeah, I've literally spent like half an hour, maybe 40 minutes, just doing really bit, oh my, I've got chocolate on my face, that was really awkward. <laughs> so yeah, I've just literally done 40 minutes, just, you know, searching around the internet, um, to be honest, for the questions I have drafted, there isn't really much research on it at the moment just because it's a very recent thing, which, I mean, I should have expected really, but I have found things kind of related to it, so, yeah, as I said, this is all such, like, early stages of research, so, yeah, also, I do apologise for these spots, I haven't been said, but, you know, it's that time of the month, so, hence why my skin is not looking cute. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm going to end this dissertation diary here. Sorry, it's a little bit boring. I feel like I just rambled on and just, like, showed you really basic research. But anyway, um, I said I'm going to vlog my whole experience of this dissertation as well as my third year. So make sure you subscribe for that. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Bye.